Rick Henderson, home chef with lower blood pressure foods. We're gonna make a quick little appetizer for watching games on this Sunday afternoon. So we got some softened cream cheese that's been sitting out for, oh, about 45 minutes or so. And we're gonna get that nice and blended for a little bit. Now while that's mixing, we're gonna add in our onion. This is Spanish purple onion. I also have green onion, but it's a little bit more delicate. We'll add that a little later. We have a tablespoon of garlic, a tablespoon of cumin, and then half a tablespoon of paprika. And we'll get this all mixed in, plus some freshly squeezed lime juice. You can look at my other video, it shows you exactly how to squeeze out fresh lime juice. All right, we got that in there. We'll speed it up a little bit. Next we're going to add in our mango. We use frozen mango, include the juice. We'll just give it a nice sweetness. This is about a quarter cup of mango. There we go, now it's blending nicely. Once it starts to really blend in together, incorporate all the things, that's when we're going to slow it down. I'm going to add in our cilantro. I like a lot of cilantro. It's like one of my favorite green herbs to add, and then we're going to add in that green onion, and this is going to be the filler for our jalapenos. Just mix that in a little bit, there we go. Alright, we don't want to over blend it because it just breaks down and turns everything green instead of having chunks of leaf and chunks of round green onion. Look at that, nice. Alright, so now we're just going to take these, look at the size of these jalapenos I bought. I just could not refuse these. Cut the top off, cut them in half. You'll see the rind that's in here. Just follow along the side, get underneath that piece, pull this out. This is where all the heat is in your jalapeno. Now, make sure you don't rub your eyes or anything after touching these because you'll definitely feel the burn. Pull that out. I don't mind leaving a little bit of seeds in there because I like mine a little spicier than normal. My assistant has already done a tray, so all that's left to do is fill these with the filling and put them in our preheated toaster oven. Alright, so we're going to grab our filling, a good spoonful, and we're just going to pile it in our jalapeno. This is that cream cheese, green onion, you can see the cilantro in there cumin, paprika, garlic. Now don't be shy. You know, you have a tray that you're going to put it on, so even if it bubbles over, you won't uh, have to clean out your oven. Now I have my toaster oven preheated. I've already made a bunch, and in they go. And this is all super low in sodium. There's about a thousand milligrams in total in all the jalapenos together. All right, so we've cooked our jalapeno peppers. Ooh, 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 ooh. Take a look at that. You can hear it. We'll let them cool, and then we'll put them on a bed of lettuce, and they'll be ready to eat. But I would definitely wait about five minutes before eating these bad boys.